Colombia. Colombia is a country largely situated in the north of South America, with land and territories in North America. Colombia is bounded on the north by the Caribbean Sea, the northwest by Panama, the south by both Ecuador and Peru, the east by Venezuela, the southeast by Brazil, and the west by the Pacific. It comprises 32 departments, with the capital in Bogotá. Colombia is ethnically and linguistically diverse, with its rich cultural heritage reflecting influences by various Amerindian civilizations, European settlement, forced African labor, and immigration from Europe and the Greater Middle East. Urban centers are concentrated in the Andean Highlands and the Caribbean coast. Colombia has been inhabited by various American Indian peoples since at least 12,000 BCE, including the Muisca, Quimbaya, and the Tirona. Spaniards arrived in 1499 and by the mid-16th century annexed part of the region, establishing the new Kingdom of Granada, with Santa Fe de Bogotá as its capital. Independence from Spain was achieved in 1819, but by 1830 the Gran Colombia Federation was dissolved, with what is now Colombia and Panama emerging as the Republic of New Granada. The new sovereign state experimented with federalism as the Granadine Confederation 1858, and then the United States of Colombia 1863, before the Republic of Colombia was finally declared in 1886. Panama seceded in 1903, leading to Colombia's present borders. Beginning in the 1960s, the country suffered from an asymmetric low-intensity armed conflict and political violence, both of which escalated in the 1990s. Since 2005, there has been significant improvement in security, stability, and rule of law. Colombia has the second highest biodiversity in the world and is one of the world's 17 megadiverse countries. Its territory encompasses Amazon rainforest, highlands, grasslands, deserts, and islands and coastlines along both the Atlantic and Pacific, the only country in South America. Colombia is the only NATO global partner in Latin America. It is part of the Civets Group of Leading Emerging Markets and a member of the UN, the WTO, the OAS, the Pacific Alliance, an associate member of Mercosur and other international organizations. Colombia's diversified economy is the third largest in South America, with macroeconomic stability and favorable long-term growth prospects. Etymology of Colombia The name, Colombia, is derived from the last name of the Italian navigator Christopher Columbus Italian, Cristoforo Colombo, Spanish, Cristobal Colón. It was conceived by the Venezuelan revolutionary Francisco de Miranda as a reference to all the New World, but especially to those portions under Spanish law by then from the Mississippi River to Patagonia. The name was later adopted by the Republic of Colombia of 1819, formed from the territories of the old Viceroyalty of New Granada, modern-day Colombia, Panama, Venezuela, Ecuador, and northwest Brazil. When Venezuela, Ecuador, and Cundinamarca came to exist as independent states, the former Department of Cundinamarca adopted the name, Republic of New Granada. New Granada officially changed its name in 1858 to the Granadine Confederation. In 1863 the name was again changed, this time to United States of Colombia, before finally adopting its present name, the Republic of Colombia, in 1886. To refer to this country, the Colombian government uses the terms Colombia and Republica de Colombia. History of Colombia Owing to its location, the present territory of Colombia was a corridor of early human civilization from Mesoamerica and the Caribbean to the Andes and Amazon Basin. The oldest archaeological finds are from the Pubenza and El Totumo sites in the Magdalena Valley 100 kilometers 62 miles southwest of Bogotá. These sites date from the Paleo-Indian period 18,000-8,000 BCE. At Puerto Hormiga and other sites, traces from the Archaic period 8,000-2,000 BCE have been found. Vestiges indicate that there was also early occupation in the regions of El Abra and Tequendama in Cundinamarca. The oldest pottery discovered in the Americas, found at San Jacinto, dates to 5000-4000 BCE. Muisca Raft. The figure refers to the ceremony of the legend of El Dorado. Indigenous people inhabited the territory that is now Colombia by 12500 BCE. Nomadic hunter-gatherer tribes at the El Abra, Tibito and Tequendama sites near present-day Bogotá traded with one another and with other cultures from the Magdalena River Valley. 
Between 5000 and 1000 BCE, hunter-gatherer tribes transitioned to agrarian societies, fixed settlements were established, and pottery appeared. Beginning in the first millennium BCE, groups of Amerindians including the Muisca, Zenu, Quimbaya, and Tyrona developed the political system of Kashkazgos with a pyramidal structure of power headed by caciques. The Muisca inhabited mainly the area of what is now the departments of Boyaca and Cundinamarca High Plateau Altiplano Cundiboyacense, where they formed the Muisca Confederation. They farmed maize, potato, quinoa, and cotton, and traded gold, emeralds, blankets, ceramic handicrafts, coca and especially rock salt with neighboring nations. The Tyrona inhabited northern Colombia in the isolated mountain range of Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. The Quimbaya inhabited regions of the Cauca River Valley between the western and central ranges of the Colombian Andes. Most of the Amerindians practiced agriculture and the social structure of each indigenous community was different. Some groups of indigenous people such as the Caribs lived in a state of permanent war, but others had less bellicose attitudes. The Incas expanded their empire onto the southwest part of the country. GEOGRGAPHY of Colombia the geography of Colombia is characterized by its six main natural regions that present their own unique characteristics, from the Andes mountain range region shared with Ecuador and Venezuela, the Pacific coastal region shared with Panama and Ecuador, the Caribbean coastal region shared with Venezuela and Panama, the Llanos plains shared with Venezuela, the Amazon rainforest region shared with Venezuela, Brazil, Peru and Ecuador, to the insular area, comprising islands in both the Atlantic and Pacific oceans. It shares its maritime limits with Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Jamaica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Colombia is bordered to the northwest by Panama, to the east by Venezuela and Brazil, and to the south by Ecuador and Peru. It established its maritime boundaries with neighboring countries through seven agreements on the Caribbean Sea and three on the Pacific Ocean. It lies between latitudes 12 degrees north and 4 degrees south and between longitudes 67 degrees and 79 degrees west. Part of the Ring of Fire, a region of the world subject to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, in the interior of Colombia the Andes are the prevailing geographical feature. Most of Colombia's population centers are located in these interior highlands. Beyond the Colombian Massif, in the southwestern departments of Cauca and Nariño, these are divided into three branches known as Cordilleras mountain ranges, the Cordillera Occidental, running adjacent to the Pacific coast and including the city of Cali, the Cordillera Central, running between the Cauca and Magdalena River valleys to the west and east, respectively, and including the cities of Medellin, Manizales, Pereira, and Armenia, and the Cordillera Oriental, extending northeast to the Guajira Peninsula and including both Bogota, Bucaramanga, and Cucuta. Peaks in the Cordillera Occidental exceed 4,700 meters feet, and in the Cordillera Central and Cordillera Oriental they reach 5,000 meters feet. At 2,600 meters feet, Bogota is the highest city of its size in the world. East of the Andes lies the savanna of the Llanos, part of the Orinoco River Basin, and in the far southeast, the jungle of the Amazon rainforest. Together these lowlands comprise over half Colombia's territory, but they contain less than 6% of the population. To the north the Caribbean coast, home to 21.9% of the population and the location of the major port cities of Barranquilla and Cartagena, generally consists of low-lying plains, but it also contains the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta mountain range, which includes the country's tallest peaks, Pico Cristobal Colon and Pico Simón Bolívar, and the La Guajira Desert. By contrast the narrow and discontinuous Pacific coastal lowlands, backed by the Serenia de Baudo mountains, are sparsely populated and covered in dense vegetation. The principal Pacific port is Buenaventura. The main rivers of Colombia are Magdalena, Cauca, Guaviar, Atrato, Meta, Putumayo and Caqueta. Colombia has four main drainage systems, the Pacific Drain, the Caribbean Drain, the Orinoco Basin and the Amazon Basin. The Orinoco and Amazon rivers mark limits with Colombia to Venezuela and Peru respectively. 
Protected areas and the National Park System cover an area of about 14,268,224 hectares, 142,682.24 square kilometers, and account for 12.77% of the Colombian territory. Compared to neighboring countries, rates of deforestation in Colombia are still relatively low. Colombia is the sixth country in the world by magnitude of total renewable freshwater supply, and still has large reserves of freshwater. Climate of Colombia The climate of Colombia is characterized for being tropical presenting variations within six natural regions and depending on the altitude, temperature, humidity, winds and rainfall. The diversity of climate zones in Colombia is characterized for having tropical rainforests, savannas, steppes, deserts and mountain climate. Mountain climate is one of the unique features of the Andes and other high-altitude reliefs where climate is determined by elevation. Below 1,000 meters 3,281 feet in elevation is the warm altitudinal zone, where temperatures are above 24 degrees Celsius 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit. About 82.5% of the country's total area lies in the warm altitudinal zone. The temperate climate altitudinal zone located between 1,001 and 2,000 meters 3,284 and 6,562 feet is characterized for presenting an average temperature ranging between 17 and 24 degrees Celsius 62.6 and 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The cold climate is present between 2001 and 3000 meters, 6565 and 9843 feet, and the temperatures vary between 12 and 17 degrees Celsius, 53.6 and 62.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Beyond lies the alpine conditions of the forested zone and then the treeless grasslands of the Paramos. Above 4,000 meters 13,123 feet, where temperatures are below freezing, the climate is glacial, a zone of permanent snow and ice. Biodiversity of Colombia Colombia is one of the megadiverse countries in biodiversity, ranking first in bird species. As for plants, the country has between 40,000 and 45,000 plant species, equivalent to 10 or 20 percent of total global species, which is even more remarkable given that Colombia is considered a country of intermediate size. Colombia is the second most biodiverse country in the world, lagging only after Brazil which is approximately seven times bigger. Colombia is the country in the planet more characterized by a high biodiversity, with the highest rate of species by area unit worldwide and it has the largest number of endemisms, species that are not found naturally anywhere else, of any country. About 10% of the species of the Earth live in Colombia, including over 1,900 species of bird, more than in Europe and North America combined, Colombia has 10% of the world's mammal species, 14% of the amphibian species and 18% of the bird species of the world. Colombia has about 2,000 species of marine fish and is the second most diverse country in freshwater fish. Colombia is the country with more endemic species of butterflies, number one in terms of orchid species and approximately 7,000 species of beetles. Colombia is second in the number of amphibian species and is the third most diverse country in reptiles and palms. There are about 1,900 species of mollusks and according to estimates there are about 300,000 species of invertebrates in the country. In Colombia there are 32 terrestrial biomes and 314 types of ecosystems. Government and Politics of Colombia The government of Colombia takes place within the framework of a presidential participatory democratic republic as established in the Constitution of 1991. In accordance with the principle of separation of powers, government is divided into three branches, the executive branch, the legislative branch and the judicial branch. As the head of the executive branch, the President of Colombia serves as both head of state and head of government, followed by the Vice President and the Council of Ministers. The President is elected by popular vote to serve four-year term. In 2015, Colombia's Congress approved the repeal of a 2004 constitutional amendment that changed the one-term limit for presidents to a two-term limit. At the provincial level executive power is vested in department governors, municipal mayors and local administrators for smaller administrative subdivisions, such as corregimientos or comunas. All regional elections are held one year and five months after the presidential election. 
The legislative branch of government is represented nationally by the Congress, a bicameral institution comprising a 166-seat Chamber of Representatives and a 102-seat Senate. The Senate is elected nationally and the Chamber of Representatives is elected in electoral districts. Members of both houses are elected to serve four-year terms two months before the President, also by popular vote. The judicial branch is headed by four high courts, consisting of the Supreme Court which deals with penal and civil matters, the Council of State, which has special responsibility for administrative law and also provides legal advice to the executive, the Constitutional Court, responsible for assuring the integrity of the Colombian Constitution, and the Superior Council of Judicature, responsible for auditing the judicial branch. Colombia operates a system of civil law, which since 2005 has been applied through an adversarial system. Despite a number of controversies, the democratic security policy has ensured that former President Uribe remained popular among Colombian people, with his approval rating peaking at 76 percent, according to a poll in 2009. However, having served two terms, he was constitutionally barred from seeking re-election in 2010. In the runoff elections on 20 June 2010 the former Minister of Defense Juan Manuel Santos won with 69% of the vote against the second most popular candidate, Antanas Makis. A second round was required since no candidate received over the 50% winning threshold of votes. Santos won nearly 51% of the vote in second round elections on 15 June 2014, beating right-wing rival Oscar Ivan Zuluaga, who won 45%. Ivan Duque won in the second round with 54% of the vote, against 42% for his left-wing rival, Gustavo Petro. His term as Colombia's president runs for four years beginning 7 August 2018. Military of Colombia The executive branch of government is responsible for managing the defense of Colombia, with the president commander-in-chief of the armed forces. The Ministry of Defense exercises day-to-day -day control of the military and the Colombian National Police. Colombia has 455,461 active military personnel. And in 2016 3.4% of the country's GDP went towards military expenditure, placing it 24th in the world. Colombia's armed forces are the largest in Latin America, and it is the second largest spender on its military after Brazil. In 2018, Colombia signed the UN Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. The Colombian military is divided into three branches, the National Army of Colombia, the Colombian Air Force, and the Colombian Navy. The National Police functions as a gendarmerie, operating independently from the military as the law enforcement agency for the entire country. Each of these operates with their own intelligence apparatus separate from the National Intelligence Directorate DNI, in Spanish. The National Army is formed by divisions, brigades, special brigades, and special units, the Colombian Navy by the Naval Infantry, the Naval Force of the Caribbean, the Naval Force of the Pacific, the Naval Force of the South, the Naval Force of the East, Colombia Coast Guards, Naval Aviation, and the specific command of San Andres y Providencia and the Air Force by 15 air units. The National Police has a presence in all municipalities. Demographics of Colombia with an estimated 48 million people in 2019, Colombia is the third most populous country in Latin America, after Brazil and Mexico. At the beginning of the 20th century, Colombia's population was approximately 4 million. Since the early 1970s Colombia has experienced steady declines in its fertility, mortality, and population growth rates. The population growth rate for 2016 is estimated to be 0.9%. About 26.8% of the population were 15 years old or younger, 65.7% were between 15 and 64 years old, and 7.4% were over 65 years old. The proportion of older persons in the total population has begun to increase substantially. Colombia is projected to have a population of 55.3 million by 2050. The population is concentrated in the Andean highlands and along the Caribbean coast, also the population densities are generally higher in the Andean region. The nine eastern lowland departments, comprising about 54% of Colombia's area, have less than 6% of the population. 
Traditionally a rural society, movement to urban areas was very heavy in the mid-20th century, and Colombia is now one of the most urbanized countries in Latin America. The urban population increased from 31% of the total in 1938 to nearly 60% in 1973, and by 2014 the figure stood at 76%. The population of Bogotá alone has increased from just over 300,000 in 1938 to approximately 8 million today. In total 72 cities now have populations of 100,000 or more 2015. As of 2012 Colombia has the world's largest populations of internally displaced persons IDPs, estimated to be up to 4.9 million people. The life expectancy is 74.8 years in 2015 and infant mortality is 13.1 per thousand in 2016. In 2015, 94.58% of adults and 98.66% of youth are literate and the government spends about 4.49% of its GDP in education. Languages in Colombia More than 99.2% of Colombians speak Spanish, also called Castilian, 65 Amerindian languages, 2 Creole languages, the Romani language and Colombian Sign Language are also used in the country. English has official status in the archipelago of San Andres, Providencia and Santa Catalina. Including Spanish, a total of 101 languages are listed for Colombia in the Ethnologue database. The specific number of spoken languages varies slightly since some authors consider as different languages what others consider to be varieties or dialects of the same language. Best estimates recorded 71 languages that are spoken in country today, most of which belong to the Chibchan, Tucanoan, Bora Witoto, Guahibon, Arawakan, Caribbean, Barbacoan, and Saliban language families. There are currently about 850,000 speakers of native languages. Culture in Colombia Colombia lies at the crossroads of Latin America and the broader American continent, and as such has been hit by a wide range of cultural influences. Native American, Spanish and other European, African, American, Caribbean, and Middle Eastern influences, as well as other Latin American cultural influences, are all present in Colombia's modern culture. Urban migration, industrialization, globalization, and other political, social and economic changes have also left an impression. Many national symbols, both objects and themes, have arisen from Colombia's diverse cultural traditions and aim to represent what Colombia, and the Colombian people, have in common. Cultural expressions in Colombia are promoted by the government through the Ministry of Culture. Education in Colombia The educational experience of many Colombian children begins with attendance at a preschool academy until age 5 Education Preschoolar. Basic education, Educación Básica, is compulsory by law. It has two stages, primary basic education, Educación Básica Primaria, which goes from 1st to 5th grade, children from 6 to 10 years old, and secondary basic education, Educación Básica Secundaria, which goes from 6th to 9th grade. Basic education is followed by middle vocational education, Educación Media Vocational, that comprises the 10th and 11th grades. It may have different vocational training modalities or specialties, academic, technical, business, and so on, according to the curriculum adopted by each school. After the successful completion of all the basic and middle education years, a high school diploma is awarded. The high school graduate is known as a bachelor, because secondary basic school and middle education are traditionally considered together as a unit called bachillerato, 6th to 11th grade. Students in their final year of middle education take the ICFES test now renamed Saber 11 in order to gain access to higher education Education Superior. This higher education includes undergraduate professional studies, technical, technological and intermediate professional education, and postgraduate studies. Technical professional institutions of higher education are also open to students holder of a qualification in arts and business. This qualification is usually awarded by the Sena after a two years curriculum. Bachiller, high school graduates, may enter into a professional undergraduate career program offered by a university. These programs last up to five years, or less for technical, technological and intermediate professional education, and postgraduate studies, even as much to six to seven years for some careers, such as medicine. 
In Colombia, there is not an institution such as college, students go directly into a career program at a university or any other educational institution to obtain a professional, technical or technological title. Once graduated from the university, people are granted a professional, technical or technological diploma and licensed, if required, to practice the career they have chosen. For some professional career programs, students are required to take the Sabre Pro test, in their final year of undergraduate academic education. Public spending on education as a proportion of gross domestic product in 2015 was 4.49 percent. This represented 15.05 percent of total government expenditure. The primary and secondary gross enrollment ratios stood at 113.56% and 98.09% respectively. School life expectancy was 14.42 years. A total of 94.58% of the population aged 15 and older were recorded as literate, including 98.66% of those aged 15 to 24. Sports in Colombia. Tejo is Colombia's national sport and is a team sport that involves launching projectiles to hit a target. But of all sports in Colombia, football is the most popular. Colombia was the champion of the 2001 Copa America, in which they set a new record of being undefeated, conceding no goals and winning each match. Colombia has been awarded Mover of the Year twice. Colombia is a hub for roller skaters. The national team is a perennial powerhouse at the World Roller Speed Skating Championships. Colombia has traditionally been very good in cycling and a large number of Colombian cyclists have triumphed in major competitions of cycling. Baseball is popular in the Caribbean, mainly in the cities Cartagena, Barranquilla and Santa Marta. Of those cities have come good players like, Orlando Cabrera, Edgar Renteria who was champion of the World Series in 1997 and 2010, and others who have played in Major League Baseball. Colombia was World Amateur Champion in 1947 and 1965. Boxing is one of the sports that more world champions has produced for Colombia. Motorsports also occupies an important place in the sporting preferences of Colombians, Juan Pablo Montoya is a race car driver known for winning seven Formula One events. Colombia also has excelled in sports such as BMX, Judo, shooting sport, Taekwondo, wrestling, high diving and athletics, also has a long tradition in weightlifting and bowling. Thanks for watching this video if you like this video, click on like button. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the subscription button below, it's free subscription.